flying hydrofoil yacht. If you've ever dreamed of a yacht that feels straight out of a James Bond movie, the foiler might be exactly what you're looking for. This futuristic hybrid hydrofoil yacht promises excitement, comfort, and family-friendly fun all in one package. Powered by two 370-horsepower V8 diesel engines, the foiler reaches a top speed of 46 miles per hour and offers a maximum range of 172 miles. Its hydrofoils can be raised or lowered at the push of a button, allowing smooth cruising whether you want to glide above the water or sail traditionally. Designed for up to eight passengers, the yacht balances practicality with elegance. Multiple layout options let you customize lounges and seating while luxury extras like a fridge, mini bar, and other add-ons ensure a premium experience. Prices for the foiler start at around $775,700, typically paid in five installments, a reflection of its exclusive status in the yachting world. Foil 18 Albatross. W Foil 18 Albatross, developed by Tomas Zor, is a remarkable hydroplane that rides on hydrofoils. This unique design lifts the vessel above the water, dramatically reducing drag and allowing it to glide smoothly across the surface. In its current form, the Albatross can reach speeds of up to 92 km per hour, making it one of the fastest hydrofoil crafts of its kind. But the developers aren't stopping there. A new, upgraded version is already in the works, one that's expected to reach an incredible 200 km per hour. This leap in performance would put the Albatross on an entirely new level, showcasing just how far hydrofoil technology can go in the world of high-speed watercraft. Would you? Looker 350. One of the standout features of this innovative boat is its transparent glass bottom, offering passengers a unique view of the underwater world. With space for up to 30 people, the Looker 350 is powered by a 370 horsepower diesel engine. The vessel measures 10.5 meters in length and weighs around 4 tons. Typically, glass-bottom boats travel at lower speeds since the focus is on sightseeing below the surface. However, the Looker 350 breaks that stereotype by combining advanced marine technology, a sleek design, and specialized underwater wings. These enhancements allow the yacht to reach an impressive top speed of 75 kilometers per hour. Adding to its appeal is a massive spheroidal viewing window measuring two by three meters, giving passengers a breathtaking panoramic experience of the sea beneath them. Ortega Mecount 1C. Developed by Dutch experts, the Ortega Memkop.1 c is a sleek three-seater submarine that looks more like a Formula One car than a traditional sub, thanks to its aerodynamic shape and seating layout. It can reach speeds of 10 miles per hour on the surface and up to 13 miles per hour underwater. Powered entirely by electric motors, a single charge gives it a range of over 62 miles. The submarine is capable of diving to depths of 310 feet, supported by advanced safety features including 3D sonar for high-speed environmental scanning, infrared cameras, and an onboard air tank. Its cargo space also provides room for carrying specialized equipment, making it a versatile choice for both exploration and adventure. Do you want me to also Script Nortec 5200. The Nortec 5200 motor yacht impresses not only with its striking design, but also with its remarkable performance. This vessel is designed to comfortably accommodate up to 10 passengers, making it both stylish and practical. Nortec builds the 5200 on a custom order basis, tailoring each yacht to meet the exact specifications and preferences of its future owner. Performance varies depending on the engine configuration chosen. In its most powerful setup, the Nortec 5200 can achieve speeds of up to an incredible 240 kilometers per hour. Do you U-Boat Cruise Sub? The Dutch-developed U-Boat Cruise Sub was designed to combine deep-sea exploration with ultimate comfort. Available in models that seat up to 11 people, these submarines can dive to an impressive depth of 5,577 feet. Inside, passengers can enjoy rotating seats, extra display screens, and even portable toilets for longer journeys. One model in this lineup has even earned the title of the world's best-selling private submarine, thanks to its versatility and luxury. Beyond comfort, it also offers advanced maneuverability, including sideways movement, and on the surface, it can be remotely controlled via the Marlin control panel. 
safety is prioritized as well, with systems like MDP, which prevents the sub from diving beyond safe limits. Plus, each submarine can be customized with a wide array of optional equipment, making it suitable for exploration, research, or leisure. Do you want me to... This jet ski appears to combine some of the best features from earlier watercraft designs. It includes a transparent front section and runs on an electric motor with a flexible power setup. For instance, a setting of just 20% thrust, or around 5 horsepower, is ideal for children. The concept first emerged in 2016, although at that time it wasn't quite a jet ski, but more of a compact motorboat. The original vision was to build a watercraft for people who want to experience the underwater world but lack the confidence or ability, like many tourists eager to view coral reefs but unable to swim. Unfortunately, the project didn't gain traction at least not on Indiegogo, where it failed to secure the needed funding or attract enough backers. Even so, a few units were produced and are now enjoyed by underwater enthusiasts in Hawaii. Zip Fastener Ship At first glance, this vessel is puzzling. Its unusual shape leaves many wondering what it is and why it looks the way it does. The answer, it's a ship designed to resemble a zipper. The concept was created by Japanese artist Yasuhiro Suzuki, known for drawing inspiration from everyday objects. In 2002, while flying over water, he noticed how ships seemed to part the surface like a zipper moving through fabric. That observation led to an art project, which took shape by 2004. The piece gained widespread attention in 2020 when it was featured in the Designart Tokyo 2020 exhibition, sailing along the Sumida River crossing in Tokyo. The choice of location was symbolic. The Sumida River has historically divided the provinces of Musashi and Shimosa, and the ship's movement across its waters reflects this historical boundary. Darkfin Durafin Gloves Popular with both divers and kayakers, the Darkfin Durafin Gloves stand out for their thoughtful design. Their extended length allows them to fit neatly under wetsuits, and with Darkfin Tech, it's like increasing your palm size by 70%. Compared to the previous version, they're more durable and provide better thermal insulation, making them well-suited for long spearfishing trips. The main innovation is a third microlayer of latex combined with cotton fiber, which improves comfort in colder waters. E-spear sharks may seem terrifying, but according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, cows actually cause more deaths each year. Still, if you want extra peace of mind in the water, meet the e-spear the world's first portable electronic shark repellent. Weighing only 250 grams, it works at depths of up to 100 meters and runs for two hours on a single charge. The device creates an electromagnetic field about 2.5 by 1 meter, triggering muscle spasms in sharks that get too close. Priced at $300, it's a compact and powerful tool for safer ocean adventures. Subwing Honeycomb Ever wondered what it's like to fly underwater? The Subwing Honeycomb makes it possible. Priced around $200, this sleek device features two movable wings connected to a boat by a cable, letting you glide gracefully like a dolphin or even spin 360 degrees around your axis. Its clever design works perfectly even when using scuba gear, and a dedicated rope allows a comfortable one-handed grip, ideal for snapping underwater selfies. With an optimal towing speed of up to 7.4 kilometers per hour, it delivers a thrilling yet smooth ride beneath the waves. SeaTrek. SeaTrek offers an underwater walking tour that requires no diving skills, making it suitable for participants from age 8 to over 80. Available in locations worldwide, from the Bahamas and Curaçao to the Philippines and Guam, each tour typically lasts around 25 minutes and often allows photography or video recording to capture the experience. A professional guide leads the group, and CRA helmets provide three times more air than normal while equalizing pressure to prevent discomfort. The helmet design even lets you pinch your nose to clear your ears, all while keeping your head dry, so you can keep glasses or contact lenses on. In Mexico, this unique experience costs $79 per person. See Imagine Aurora, looking for a personal submarine that's safe, comfortable, and easy to use? Just reach out to Sea Imagine. This US-based company has been operating since 1995 and has logged over 12,000 dives with its submersibles.
they don't just offer standard models. Custom options are available for specific missions. For instance, the Aurora 3C seats three and can dive to depths of 1,000 meters. The larger Aurora 100 can carry up to seven passengers and reach an impressive depth of 2.3 kilometers. CA Magin calls it a standout choice for tourism and leisure. If you're looking for more features, upgrades like robotic arms, advanced 6K, 360-degree underwater cameras, and sample collection systems are available for an added cost. As for pricing, the Aurora 3C starts at $3.5 million. Back in 2020, the global boat market didn't just grow. It experienced a full-blown explosion, with over 310,000 units sold in the U.S. alone. Naturally, manufacturers rushed to take advantage of this boom. But how could they truly capture buyers' attention? The creators of this vessel came up with an innovative solution, a transparent 2 by 3 meter bottom that lets passengers enjoy a clear view of the underwater world. It sounds simple, but the idea has proven to be a major success. These boats are now found in 35 countries and cruise through every ocean on the planet. As for durability, there's no need for concern. The see-through panel is made from 15 mm thick modified acrylic, stronger than the hulls of many other boats. The 22-passenger version is priced at around $123,000. Script Iguana Commuter The Iguana Commuter, developed by the French company Iguana Yachts, measures 9.2 meters in length and 3.1 meters in width. What sets this vessel apart is its amphibious capability. It can leave the water on its own, deploying caterpillar tracks to move across land at speeds of up to seven kilometers per hour. On the water, the commuter is powered by twin outboard engines with a base output of 350 horsepower and a maximum of 400 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of 78 kilometers per hour. With standard fuel, the vessel can travel up to 185 kilometers. One unique feature is its sliding roof with an electric drive which provides excellent protection for passengers during bad weather. Additionally, the Iguana commuter comes with a smart anchor system. Electronically controlled, it automatically measures depth and can be managed through a touchscreen interface. Would you YMV Proteus The YMV Proteus is an experimental yacht developed by Marine Advanced Research, and it's often nicknamed the Spider, and one look at it explains why. Unlike traditional catamarans, its deck superstructure is not rigidly attached to the floats. Instead, it's connected through a unique damping suspension system. This design greatly reduces cabin movement when sailing over large waves, while also cutting down on fuel consumption, making long voyages smoother and more efficient. One of its most fascinating features is that the superstructure has its own engines. It can actually detach from the floats and operate as a completely separate enclosed boat. The Proteus measures 29 meters in length, 15 meters in width, and stands over 6 meters tall. Despite its unusual design, it's impressively capable, reaching speeds of 56 kilometers per hour and offering a lifting capacity of up to 2 tons. The Wham V Proteus isn't just a yacht, it's a glimpse into the future of adaptive marine engineering. Do you want Planet Solar? This unique catamaran immediately stands out thanks to its futuristic design. Built at the German shipyard Nirim, the project was brought to life by Swiss visionary Raphael Damjan. Instead of conventional fuel, Planet Solar relies entirely on sunlight, which is converted into energy through solar cells covering its surface. These panels can generate up to 93 kilowatts of power. To supply the engine's full 120 kilowatt demand, the vessel is equipped with 537 square meters of solar panels that charge massive lithium ion batteries weighing a total of 8.5 tons. Measuring 31 meters in length, 15 meters in width, and 7.5 meters in height, this eco friendly yacht can comfortably carry up to 50 passengers. While its top speed is a modest 25 km per hour, Planet Solar represents a groundbreaking step towards sustainable marine travel. Lazareth Amphibi The Lazareth Amphibi stands apart from most amphibious car concepts, because here you're essentially getting a boat on wheels. Designed by French automaker and motorcycle builder Dominique Lazareth, it's regarded as one of the most impressive vehicles of its kind. 
While it resembles a 1960s-style buggy, it can transition into the water in just three seconds and reaches nearly 90 kilometers per hour on land. Ideal for beach trips, it allows access to secluded shores far from crowded tourist spots. Sadly, like many of Lazarus's creations, the amphibie remains a one-off prototype, meant to demonstrate that building such vehicles is not as complicated as it seems. Hopefully, small-scale production will follow in the future. Would you like me to Taniwa? In Maori mythology, the word Taniwa refers to powerful supernatural beings said to dwell in the depths, sometimes as guardians, other times as dangerous kidnappers. Inspired by this legend, engineers in New Zealand named their innovative submarine Taniwa. It was built for the International Subrace Competition, where the team won multiple awards, including recognition for the best non-propeller design. Reaching a top speed of 5.3 miles per hour, it fell just 0.4 miles per hour short of the world record. Its secret lay in the unique motion trajectory of its fins, delivering exceptional performance in the water. As the team explained, it's similar to Formula One. You don't mass produce a racing car, but you test innovations that may later influence everyday vehicles.